Welcome to Bookable. In this video, you will learn how easy it is to create the best pricing possible for your rental products. Start by clicking into your inventory page and click into any product you'd like and click into the pricing panel. If you haven't set up your products yet, make sure to check out our tutorial for that link in the description box below. Choosing a flat fee means that an $80 daily price, for example, will multiply per day of rental that the customer chooses. And that's our most straightforward way of pricing your products. Or maybe you want to charge $80 no matter how long it's booked for, which is when you should choose a fixed price. Or maybe you want to discount your day rate the longer the customer rents for. Choosing a pricing template is a really popular way for this reason. You can follow the prompts to add your different durations and the custom price that the customer will pay for this duration. This creates an incentive for your customers to rent out your products as long as possible. You can create this for an hourly, daily, weekly, or even monthly prices. You can also add on an automatic increments of $40, for example, for every extra day on top of these durations that the customer added on for their order. Now, when you go to place an order for your product in the back end, you can add in the dates and be charged the appropriate price you've set up in this page. If this structure applies to all of your products, regardless of their prices, you can save time by creating a pricing template structure and apply it to your product in a single click. If you haven't created one yet, you can click the Manage Pricing Structure Template button and go through the tutorial linked in that page to create one. Down from your prices, you can scroll down on this page and see the option to set up an advanced pricing rule set. This can automatically adjust the price for certain days of the week, such as the weekend, or dates of the year to create seasonal pricing. You can also scroll down to add a tax rate to be charged on top of the product price and also to add a security deposit rate to be charged. Tutorials for all of these pricing settings are linked in this page. As these are not the durations that will appear on the date picker for the customer to select, it is only used for the calculation of the price, you need to now go into your rental period settings which you can find in your bookable settings and choose your rental periods. This is particularly important if you want to offer fixed durations for your orders. Even if you've set up a one day, two day or three day pricing structure in the previous step, you will need to set up these rental periods to match these pricing structures to make sure that these durations appear for your customers on your rental website's date picker. Scrolling down, the next step after your rental periods is to determine what hours of the day your customers can pick up and return their items so they're not expecting a delivery from you at 2 a.m. for example. This is done in the operating hours step in your rental periods page. And you're all set. You have now learned how easy it is to create the best pricing possible for your rental products.